pumpkin is doing brill. I think I'll go and show you it in a minute. Um, and it's in, right in the end of the tunnel, but it's grown and it's now got its second runner. Um, and I'm twisting it out of the tunnel and it's going to grow down the side of the tunnel in an area I can't really grow anything. There is the uh, grapes back there, but they're off the ground, of course. So the ground is just covered in weed suppressant and it's very shaded at the bottom. Um, so it's not um, really very good for, for growing anything. You can't get to it. It's not, not very even because there's still the bits of stumps from cutting the conifers down underneath the weed suppressant. Uh, so it's difficult to walk down there very easily um, if you're carrying anything because you, your foot will suddenly go over uh, but it's ideal for my pumpkin to run down there so it's having a whale of a time and because I don't see it I don't when I pop my head around to have a look how it's doing it's grown massive amounts because I don't look very often so it's a nice little surprise for me when I look around the corner to check on my uh, uh, grapes so this is where the pumpkin starts and if you can see it's got big leaves there like it's going around the corner of the tunnel and um, I will just uh, see if I can climb around and show you the rest of it. Right, if we look underneath here, uh, this is the second runner and if we look down here you can see the start of oops you see the start of a pumpkin i'm just going to see if that'll break off it's pretty dry that looks all right i self-pollinated that and uh, it goes all the way down there and it looks like i've got another pumpkin coming oops if i can get down here under the end of that uh, it's not really big enough for me to self-pollinate yet because the only male flower is inside the tunnel and you see if you can see there's a bit of a lump here where it used to be a little bit flatter this is all the piping from my netted tunnel that I don't use anymore so I'll have a quick look at the grapes and no they've still not got no fruit coming on them but it has grown all the way along here for me and when i prune for the winter i prune them prune them two nodes up all the way across i've got another long one coming out at the bottom which i'm going to take up this post so it's looking all right the other one and it was very late starting and it's not got a runner that's uh, gonna go along this wire and these have not grown very much at all these two so we've got shoots coming off it all the way up there but they're not really doing anything they've come to a standstill but the weather is uh, bad, really, for a plant that's uh, not in very good soil. Because this here that's covered in weed suppression is uh, from where the conifers were. So the, the soil underneath is not good. Um, I did put some compost in. Um, my poor old uh, Loganberry... It's looking really, really bedraggled. It's, the leaves have really shriveled up. We've got new growth coming though, so that's a good sign. Oh, there was a loganberry on it there that I didn't see. We'll leave it for the birds. I've been feeding all the little baby birds. They've been having all the berries, and I don't mind. Uh, I've got uh, this sunflower I've just pushed back up. Um, they need tying. I think that sunflower might need a bit of a tie. I'll have to get round here and tie things up. This is where the bolotis are, and I've got two, oops, I'm in my own shadow again, two little bolotis on there, that's all, little tiny ones coming. These 
I don't know whether these are normally this yellow, but um, they're probably competing with the peas. The peas have really gone mad. I didn't think the peas would last as long as this, but um, they're all starting to uh, do little side shoots to produce flowers, so I think they're all right. I keep growing. You my courgettes, my round courgettes. Uh, they were just dropping off because even though there is insects in here uh, and a few bees I can hear a buzzy bee above my head they seem not to be pollinating these round ones the normal courgettes don't seem to be having a problem so I'm having to hand pollinate them so I don't think I hand pollinated that one yesterday but I'm going to um, hand pollinate it again and show you what I'm doing um, just in case I missed that one yesterday this is a male flower from uh, another bush still the same I'm trying to find a female still the same uh, there it is that's the female it's got a big lump there look same type but then again I used a courgette one to pollinate my pumpkin and I think it's working so this is the male flower I'm just going to take the petals off it for you so you can see this the stigma in the middle better see it see it down there right hang on a minute so where we are that is the stigma and that needs to go inside of this flower so we come down here and we find, let me get right down here. I'm going to open this up a bit. Can't see. Doesn't matter about breaking that flower off, that petal off. Bring that one up, and you can see what I'm doing. So you see down there? It's a more rounder, chunky compared to this, which is long and thin. So all I'll do is just, I can't see what I'm doing myself, just rub it onto that and then it's pollinated. Alright, see this one, I'm starting to go yellow and go off on the end, go mouldy. That has not been pollinated. It uh, started to form when the flower was forming and then it didn't get pollinated and it's just dropped off but this one's nice i don't let to, don't want to get him to let them to get too big so not be long before i'm picking that one tomatoes they they have grown so big in the last two days from next to nothing to that um practically just overnight and into today they're massive and growing really quick. Not massive in the same sense of size of my fingers, but massive compared to what they were when I spotted them the other night. When they were little tiny little dots. And now they're doing really well. My aubergines I bought are looking fine. They're picking up. I'll show you the tomatoes that I bought. The ones I got, well, I didn't buy them, I got free, didn't I? This is the black Russian that was um, quite yellow. I'm in my own shadow again. Aren't I? These are lighter, but they, are, they have greened up a bit. They were really yellow. More like this one down here. This one actually can come off. But the new growth at the top is nice and green. So my free plant is doing well. So this is the yellow tumbling tom and it's looking perfectly fine and it's got a little tomato coming on it look look at that really good for a free plant the other side this is the red tumbling tom and it's really a lot more greener especially that leaf there that's really green that's another new leaf got some flowers coming on it just tap them to make them set and it's in my new baskets that I bought from uh, 
Gardener's World show. I have got some fancy uh, stuff to put next year to hide the plant pot, but for now, that's fine. <laughs>